not even this moment. It's every moment. Big one, like saying, I love you. Moving in together. Getting engaged. But mostly a million little ones that come in between the big moments. Falling asleep next to one another. Making dinner together. Spending holidays with your family. Getting a big hug when you come home from work. These everyday moments fuse together into one big experience. And even though this experience is so incredible, words fail us when we try to describe it. That's just the way it is with love. It's meant to be felt, not described. But trying to describe love is one of our favorite pastimes. We use the word we have to write stories and poems and songs about love. And even though we describe love in different ways, and even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it, and we see it here. Before God, your friends, and your families, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter the covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of your lives and your relationship, whatever the future may hold. And for me, please repeat after me. I take you to Derek. This day is my life. I promise to walk by your side forever as your best friend and your soulmate. You are my beloved one, and I am proud to marry you. I promise to support your dreams and to be there for you all our lives. There is the reaction. I take you and it will be this day to be my husband. This day to be my husband. I promise to walk. I promise to walk by your side forever. By your side forever. As your best friend. As your best friend. And your soul friend. And your soul friend. You are my beloved one. You are my beloved one. And I am proud to marry you. I promise to support your dreams. And to be there for you all our lives. And now we're reading from 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Now we come to the part of your celebration for the ring ceremony. The circle has been a symbol of marriage. These circles are made of precious metal to represent the precious nature of your relationship. Being unbroken circles, each represents unending love. As often as either of you look upon these rings, may you be reminded of this moment and the love you have promised. Now, as Phil 
So please acknowledge your intent to share by placing the ring on your finger. Now, Chair, please acknowledge your attempt to add a copy by placing this ring on his finger. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you look upon Ed Pope and Shapira, as they hold hands, it's important that I read this. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong, and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day. As you come to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever, these are the hands that will work alongside yours. As together we build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your shoulder. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled in age, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Now closing. May God bless you and keep you. May God's presence shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's presence be with you and give you peace. Dara and Tobe, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife.